Elk City, Oklahoma, population 11,523. On any given weekend, thousands of kids can be seen playing softball and baseball on these 16 multiplex fields, which consist of 700,000 square feet of major play fusion XP squared synthetic turf by Hellas Construction. It's a testament, as busy as it has been, to these fields, to the facility, to the quality of work. Uh, and the atmosphere that Elk City has to offer. A one cent sales tax voted on and approved by the community has resulted in an economic impact estimated by Elk City officials of at least $200,000 per week. It's a real big impact. The turf has exponentially grown the number of activities which can go on here. You know, it's a draw that nobody else in this part of the state has. It's been a great thing for our city and our community. Weather can be an issue in Tornado Alley. In fact, spring rains led to the flooding of the previous grass fields and why city leaders in Elk City decided to go with synthetic turf by Hellas. We've had high schools who've been rained out, who've rescheduled games here, uh, whether that's baseball or softball. We've not had a single rain out. There is no dust blowing around. That is huge. It's an investment Elk City is extremely proud of and it's paying off in large dividends. And now when you talk about a one cent sales tax, it really adds up over the years. As you can see, Elk City Mayor Nick Archer was absolutely correct. Here we are in the middle of September. It's a Monday afternoon and each one of these softball fields here in Elk City absolutely packed, which is great for the economy. At the end of the day, it's still probably $50 million of revenue uh, for economic development into our city. Ackley Park is only about a mile from these 16 fields and they also got a facelift as Hellas installed the same major play fusion XP squared turf at this historic baseball park built in the 1930s. Ackley Park was utilized in the past for some of the farm team games and things like that. Through the 40s, there was the uh, Elk City Brown Sox, which were champions of the time in the golden era of baseball there. To see some new life uh, breathed into that field, it's always nice. Ackley Park is currently the home of Elk City High School Baseball and is a perfect fit for the National Route 66 Museum, only a foul ball away from this historic ballpark. The historic nature of Route 66 being there beside it, it's a really special place. In Elk City, I'm Jeff Power. Hellas, building for sports from start to finish.